Alrighty, so this is Chris recording the Mox Preliminaries for Magic Gathering Strat. Uh, we have now opened our pool, and piling by rarity, we see that we have uh, some pretty decent rares and mythics. And a little mythic there with Ralz Eric. Ralz Eric is a pretty good card. I'd want to play him if possible. Deathrite Shaman is also very good. Ashell it's a bit restrictive on the mana cost, but certainly playable. Um... So now we're just going to go by a uh, converted mana cost there. Those, those are really the mythics, or the rares and the mythics that we probably want to play. <coughs> Ogre Slum Lord's very good. Uh, we have two Centaur's Heralds. Just a good sign that maybe we uh, might want to be uh, into green white. Zeratod Druid's very good. Crawl Warrior, Corrosed Guild Mage is awesome. So, what I'm doing here, basically, I'm putting down all the playables and I'm just seeing where my uh, leanings take me. Windrake, Griffin, Undercity Informer, Thug, Kingpin's Pet, Hired Torturer. Looks like I've got a pretty good pool. So it's going to be kind of hard to choose what colors we want. Uh, Toil and Trouble. Toil and Trouble's okay. It's playable. Pilfer Plans is playable. Down and Dirty, not really my favorite. Um, as far as fixing goes, we only have these Rakdos guild gates. It's pretty awful for awful for fixing and pretty unlucky that we didn't get any other guild gates. Oh, I forgot about Giant Growth, obviously. Giant Growth is also very, very good. Uh Skymark Rock. So it looks like I'm th I'm thinking that I'm leaning towards uh Bant colors. Just based on uh what I've got here. Although Grizzly Spectacle is very, very good. Uh, yeah, the gatekeepers are certainly not going to happen. Yeah, so my, my initial thought is Bant. But not counting anything out, for sure. Mara Tandris is a really awful card. Molten Primordial is definitely not the kind of card you want to be playing, typically. Uh, so... Although my red is very, very strong. Hmm. <coughs> so let's see what the black looks like. Uh, yeah. So here's all my black cards. I don't think black is really where I want to be going. Um, like the black cards are pretty strong. Some of these cards are pretty strong, but I think that uh, looking at these, it's either it's either going to be Bant or Naya. Uh, let's look at the red cards. Cards that would be definitely pushing me into red. Punish. We obviously have Rouse Eric here. Uh, Toil and Trouble is not really... That'll be like a 23rd card. Yeah, so here's your here's my red cards, and the red cards are all pretty strong, right? But eh, I don't know that they're good enough. I guess the Kingpin's Pet and the Bane Alley are also black cards. Blue is definitely the weak link here. Uh, although we do have the Sphinx, the Skymark Rock, and the Windrake, and the Dramatic Rescue, which I very very much like very much like playing. Um, but I think it's going to go for, hmm. so there's all our red cards. How strong is green? Green is really strong for us. Uh, Course of Might is like the weakest of the green cards. Thrashing Moss Dog isn't that great either, but our green cards are really strong. I can't really punish, I can't really abuse anything with the Species Scorcher, though. <coughs> if I go with green, if I go with Bant colors, what does my deck look like? If I go only Bant. Uh, it's 
25 playables and only Bant colors. Uh, what if I go only Naya? Uh, you stupid syncopate, you're in my way. So if I go only Naya, let's cut the blue and see what happens. Let's see if I even like that deck. Uh, cutting these things. The long legs may not even be playable in the in the band colors either, so. So if I'm going only Naya. Uh, Splatter Thug goes over here. Mugging goes over here in the one drops. I'll have a lot of stuff to do in one drop. I'm gonna have ground assault, which is premium removal, Zerta Druid, which is ramp. Um, so the problem with only Naya is that the top end is really just not that good. The top end is steeple rock basically. So I'm relying on all my early drops. I guess I'd have punished the enemy too. Um, yeah, I don't think I can do only Naya. Yeah, so th I think I'm going to have to cut the red for sure. As good as Ground Assault is, um, I just I don't think it's good enough. Uh, I don't think Course of Might and Thrashing Moss Dog make the cut anyway. What if I go red, white, or sorry, green, white, black? What does the deck look like then? Then we have an Ogre Slum Lord as a curve topper. Grizzly Spectacle for premium removal. We get to use this Guild Mage. Uh, we get to use this Kingpin's Pet. The Screecher. Uh, the Informer isn't that bad. Although in this... Well, he combos really well with the uh, Ogre Slum Lord. So if I go... Uh, and then I even get to play the Scorpion. Hmm. So that's interesting. Going with those colors. <coughs> uh. Is it good enough though? With two heralds. Uh, alive well. So really it comes down to the choices of do I want this kind of a top end, like a heavy top end with a bunch of flyers, or do I want what looks to be a more consistent deck? Uh, hmm. Let's pile this by color. And just getting the double blacks is really going to be a, a difficult thing to splash. I think the Bant colors is are going to have... Um, the more consistent costs, like mana costs and stuff. And then the late game of the, of late game of the Bant deck is going to be so much better. I believe. So... I want to look at the Bant deck again and see where it sits. Oh yeah, I guess I gotta move this pet and this creature. Uh, Pile by converted. Here we go. All right, so if I go with this version of the deck. Um, it just, it looks a lot more consistent, doesn't it? Using blue as a splash, so I'd cut the filled oculus, I think. And then I just have a really big top end. Yeah, I'd probably cut the filled oculus and, uh, um, 